pull the straws so the bendy part stretches out. Run one small bead of silicone along the middle of each finger. Note that this time it's just one bead and it's much thinner than before, just enough to make a straw stick. Before the beads of silicone have time to skin over, stick on five straws. Put the bendy part of the straw where indicated by the pattern. Push the straw down all along the length of the straw so it is right against the paper pattern. Some of the straw will stick out from the fingertips and the wrist. Don't do it now, but when the silicone is dry, you will be cutting them off. Notice that the thumb bends a lot at the bendy part of the straw, and a lot of the straw will stick out both ways. The next step may be the hardest, you will be using a motion I call weaving as you dispense the silicone over the straws. I think it's a good idea to practice weaving with part of a straw before you start on the real thing. Save it so you can practice notching later. Notice that the tip of the silicone cartridge spends most of its time at the side of the straw, and that is where most of the silicone goes, on the side, not on the top of the straw. I actually tap, tap, tap on each side. In addition to ensuring that I spend more time on the side of the straw, the tap, tap, tap pushes the silicone into the paper fibers so it really sticks. Also, notice that the angle that you hold the dispenser is pretty steep. So again, the silicone is really mashed against the pattern. where the straws get close to each other near the wrist. Do your best as you get the weave patterns to blend and merge the separate weaves into one. Weaving silicone on the thumb is similar to putting it on the fingers. Notice that there are two places on the thumb that need some additional reinforcement with silicone, or else the string is likely to rip out of the straws if pulled hard. These zigzag lines are where the extra silicone should go. The reinforcements are just beads of silicone that go higher than the silicone near it. You cannot do any more until the silicone cures at least 24 hours, perhaps more, if it's thick or if weather conditions are bad. I talked to a chemist who told me that silicone actually reacts with the humidity in the air, so it cures better under humid conditions than dry.